we are on the verge of a debt crisis. Today's meeting, convened with our partners, the Prime Minister of Canada and Jamaica, is a call for urgent action. Six countries have already defaulted. One third of emerging market economies are at high risk of fiscal crisis. And the situation is even worse for least developed and low income countries. They face a painfully slow recovery that will put the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development and the Paris Agreement completely out of reach. Developing countries need access to additional liquidity to respond to the pandemic and to invest in recovery. And the global community must urgently provide the necessary support to all developing countries in need. From the start of the pandemic, we have advocated for a three-phase approach to debt. First, a moratorium on debt payments. Second, targeted debt relief. Third, reforms to the international debt architecture. I welcome the steps that have been taken, including fresh financing by international financial institutions, the G20's Debt Service Suspension Initiative, and the common framework for debt treatments. But they are far from enough. I'm therefore calling for much bolder and more ambitious measures. We strongly believe that the Debt Service Suspension Initiative must be extended into 2022 and made also available to highly indebted, vulnerable middle-income countries that request it.